It, what's important to know is that who is at the top matters. And I was a corruption prosecutor across the Brooklyn Bridge, um, and we had a really healthy rivalry between the two offices. The amount of corruption cases that were made just simply skyrocketed. So it's not just whoever you put in those shoes will do the job. And now that I'm in Albany as a state senator on the other side, he shook Albany to its foundations. You, you, you've worked with people who are in jail now from him. Um, I, I, I definitely work with a lot of people who were worried about, worried about him and who asked me all the time, what's he like, what's he after, what do you think he'll do next, as if no one would go after those cases unless they had some ulterior motive. I mean, he really shook Albany. The two most powerful people, the Senate Majority Leader right. and the Speaker, from both houses he went after. So this just does not square with wanting to drain the swamp. He went after, without fear or favor, those who were corrupt in a fearless manner. And, you know, wiretapping politicians wasn't something that used to happen routinely. That's something you reserved for the mafia. He, he, he and, you know, Loretta Lynch as well across the river helped change that. And to, to throw a person out like that so abruptly tells me that, the, you know, we should be concerned whether the president really wants to drain the swamp and is really interested in going after corruption because few did it better than Preet Bharara.